Good afternoon. This is a historic day in the Brockton Fire Department. Today is Friday, June 9th, 2017, and we're joined here together to uh, christen, if you will, the new ladder company one. It's going to be stationed on Pleasant Street here protecting the city of Brockton. Um, the new ladder one was uh, manufactured by Schmeal Fire Apparatus, uh, and our representative from New England Fire Apparatus, Dave Farrell, is here with us today. Um, Dave was my right-hand man in this project. Any problem, any issue I had, I, I called Dave. Dave's probably sick of hearing from me. But, um, it was a long process. Um, this, this truck got approval through the city uh, back at the end of 2015. So as you can see, you know, here we are in June of 2017. And it just kind of goes to show you how long of a process this, this was. Um, but I couldn't be happier for my department. Uh, all the men are very happy. They have a nice new piece of apparatus to operate with. Um, I think it's really going to be a bonus for the city of Brockton. No, and uh, Darren Duarte, uh, Mayor Carpenter's Chief of Staff, we're happy that the city has this piece of equipment. We want to thank the City Council for also helping approve this. Uh, it's very important that we have this piece of equipment um, because we think protecting and keeping our residents safe is our top priority, and we just, we're just glad we have it. I'd also like to thank the members of my department who were heavily involved with this process. Uh, deputy Chief Scott Albanese is my training deputy. Um, he, he was had a heavy hand in this, along with really who spearheaded this project was Captain Sean Kerr. Um, several trips to, to Nebraska were taken, I think four in total. Correct? Sean went on four. Yes, Sean Captain went on Kerr four went trips. Four. I made two trips to Nebraska myself. Um, it was really a long process, and, and today is the final culmination of that, that project. And we're very happy today to be putting this in service. And Chief, I guess um, in giving them a tour and showing off this, great piece of equipment. Maybe you can show, show um, Jay here a little bit about what we have. Sure. And I'm going to have Captain Kerr, Jay, take you around the truck, show you all the features of it, uh, the innovative equipment that's on it, um, some of the, the life-saving tools that we carry on it. Um, he'll be able to take you around and show you all that stuff. My name is uh, Captain Sean Kerr. I'm the company commander of Ladder Company 1. All right, so what we have here is our brand new Ladder 1. Uh, it's replacing our 1994 HME Smeal. This is a 2016 Spartan Smeal Ladder. Spartan being the cab manufacturer, they made this portion of the truck. From everything down in the ladder portion is made by the Smeal company. Big differences on this one compared to the old one. There's a lot more room in the cab. Uh, it's more modernized. Uh, still the same, a lot of the same switches and stuff like that, but they've, they've improved upon it over the last 25 years. So things have gotten a lot better, a lot easier for the guys to work at. So you get your, your traditional cab, driver, officer, buttons. You know, it's what happens is now almost everything has their own individual switch. So what we did is the driver, everything that he needs from his windshield wipers to the fogger and stuff like that, that's all on his side of the console. Everything in the middle you see here are your emergency warning lights and some of the side lights, front and rear lights. Also to operate the aerial, we have to put the truck into aerial PTO. Those lights are here. So anything that we both need to get to is in the middle. Over here is my side, any lights are going to be on my side or whatever. I have them all hooked up here. This gray box, we have two of them, one here, one on the side. That's to operate our new generator that operates the lights on the truck itself when we're at a scene. Also to bring power inside the building and it also operates the hydraulic tools. It's a company out of Marblehead, Mass. It's called XRT Systems. It allows us to have one generator that does two jobs. And it allows us to have 100% power on all our hydraulic tools while using them all simultaneously. So that was a huge upgrade. And then, just like anything else, you get your typical radio set up. A little different here now. The guys that could, to put the car in uh, drive, reverse, and everything else, push button. That's all it is. Um, besides that, those are the only big differences. You know, obviously in the old school one, you get the regular shifter and everything else, but uh, they just hit the button. It's something they got to get used to. But uh, you see, those have been on the new trucks for a while now. Um, also, other safety features incorporated here, right above the driver's side, you get a backup camera now that's tucked up underneath, so if he needs to, you can just flip it down, it comes right down, you can see the back. You also could hear everything that's going on back there, so there's a microphone built into it. One of the things the guys were uh, pretty happy about is on this one, the room they have to, to store their gear and for them to ride in and get, and get ready, everything ready, has been improved dramatically. 
uh, before they had a very small area. The actual engine came back into their cab area. Now it's wide open. There's no, uh, no problems. They won't be tripping over things. And it's a lot more safer for them. Some of the other improvements as we go along the truck, uh, we try to think about everything possible. You know, what do we do on a daily basis? Every, every fire we go to, uh, rescue, whatever the call may be, we try to design the truck so it was user friendly. So every compartment has their own pretty much use. Whether it be the, the compartment for the electrical reels here, where we have the, the actual reel mounted up on top with the equipment down below. You know, that just makes it so there's more room for the guys to get in there and get it. One of the bigger improvements we put on the truck this year, this time, is years ago, on our, well, on our old truck, we only have what they call the combination jaws of life, which would mean it would cut and spread at the same time. But having those two together gives you, there's a lot of limitations. So what we did is we put these hydraulic rails on both sides of the truck. There's one over here, there's two over there. Uh, we have a, a cutter, a spreader, and an ex, ex, um, we get these rams. The rams go from one foot all the way up to four feet in case we got to push stuff. Uh, previously, before that, we'd have to carry about 10 different size rams. Now it's all in one thing. If we have to leave the truck and go somewhere else, we got a portable unit we can take with us. This is much lighter, much more efficient than the older ones. Older ones are, are big uh, diesel engines that we had, generators we had to carry with us. The truck itself is 105 feet. Gives you about 102 feet as far as horizontal reach. Uh, I can go to a negative uh, degree. Um, one thing about this truck now is we don't have to put it out as far before we have to, we used to have to go out at least nine feet to get the truck stabilized. It's not the case anymore. Uh, they cut it down to as, as low as six, depending on what, what angle we have the ladder. So there's a lot of improvements. This ladder itself, even though we can, it holds more weight than the previous one, uh, is actually lighter. Uh, steel's gotten better over time. You know, if you're talking 25-year-old difference between when we bought the last one. Um, so this one, you can actually have 750 pounds worth of guys at the tip and be flowing 1,050, uh, yeah, excuse me, 1,500 gallons per minute at the same time. So that's a lot of weight up the tip, and it won't move at all. So that's a huge improvement from over here. You can flow 1,000 with 500 on the tip. So that's a, that's a big safety factor for us. Um, as far as... As far as our labs and everything, nothing's changed. Uh, one of the reasons we went back with this company is I went to different companies just to see what they could do for us. Obviously, our station was built in 1884, so we had some uh, height restrictions and things like that. So we had to go find a company that could actually build us a truck that can fit to that station. Went to the couple of manufacturers. I told them what I need for ground ladders. This is what I have to have, and I need the truck this tall. One one company came back and said I can do it, and this is the company we've been using for the last 20 years. So. Uh, Fortunately, somebody could do it, and they came in, and it fits in the building. We try to take trucks that are 2017 and put them in a building that's almost 150 years old. You're usually talking height restrictions, weight restrictions, things like that. Fortunately, they were able to do that for us. Some of the other things that we try to incorporate into the truck just the amount of space, you know, the cabinet space on this is much greater than the previous one. That means we can carry more rescue tools than we ever had before. Uh, we'll be carrying uh, struts to stabilize vehicles, to shore up buildings, uh, airbags now, plus all the new uh, hearse tool equipment. This is all an upgrade from what we had in the past. Then on top of that, for the safety of the guys, we incorporate all these pull-out drawers, uh, depending on what it's going to be carrying. This one that happens to be a 600 pound capacity uh, slide out tray. Makes things nice and easy on the guys. They don't hurt themselves. And just like on the other side, you saw one reel over there. Uh, the, these are our, our, our new rescue equipment as far from Hearst. Before, like I said, we only had a cutter, a spreader. It was all one combination tool, it was small. The guys actually had to reach in, put their head in, try to lift up the 100, you know, about 80 pound tool, and then work it out this way. All they gotta do now is they come in here, this drawer slides out, and then it actually tilts down. So when the, 
when it does come out, they're just gonna grab it right here, it's ergonomically. They're not gonna be straining their backs and stuff like that. The other difference is, this stuff is much more powerful than what we have currently. So we should have no problems and should bring us for another 10, 15, 20 years on, with, with these new tools. These new connections from Hearst. Uh, previously, if we ever had to swap out a, a tool, say if we had, if I needed to go from cutter to spreader, we'd only have like one or two lines of these things. We'd have to go to these old school, small hydraulic type couplings. It'd take time, they, get, they fall in the dirt, it's at nighttime. Now all I do is quarter turn, put it into one, put it into the other, and it works out nice. So we eliminated the ladder on this side, we made this larger cabinet space, and we just put the one over here. And that's what you see on most of them anyways. How big is the ladder itself? The ladder itself is 105 feet. It's made of 100,000 PSI steel compared to our old one, which was 70,000 pounds per square inch steel. Um, big difference with that is weight. Uh, the trucks keep on getting heavier and heavier. It's just the way it is. So uh, one thing this company did was try to figure out how can we make it stronger but lighter. And they were able to come up with it. The engineers came up with it, found the steel that was 100,000 pounds per square inch and uh, they made the truck lighter, believe it or not, even though it's uh, stronger. It's one of those things that, you know, over time, they just made a stronger steel and we were able to get it. Uh, some of the other features on this ladder now is when it is extended at night, the whole thing will be completely lit up uh, blue. So like, right now, when we go up the ladder, the only lights are at the tip. Now, as the guys are going up it, as you see these lights are out, that are right here, every couple of rungs, those will light up blue, so the guys can actually see what they're doing as they're going up. Um, in, in, in the past with the older ladders, you didn't have that, so you're kind of like going blindly up there. There's also uh, plenty of new lighting up on the tip itself. Uh, we got our tools that are mounted already ready there for us. Uh, we, with the new ladder, we have our roof ladder already mounted on the ladder itself. We didn't have that before. We had to come back or bring it up with us. Uh, there, we just got to go down and grab it. Uh, this is the turntable, this is where we control the ladder once it's up. So the guy who's usually driving, he'll come over here. Once the truck gets set up, he'll stand here. He's basically like our eyes, ears, our safety from down below. He's able to put the ladder in the position it needs to be. Simple operation. You have three different types of directional movement, up, down, left, right. Whatever you need to go, you can do it simultaneously. Um, it works the same way as the old one. The buttons themselves haven't changed. You know, there's a couple of um, new safety features that the NFPA required that had to be put on the truck. Uh, for instance, like when the ladder's coming down after an operation's done, we're putting it away. Before the, the ladder itself, before they all start crossing over, you just have to hit a momentary switch. That way there's no legs, hands, feet, or anything, you know, caught in there. There shouldn't be anybody on it anyways. But it's just one of those safety features they added. Also, when we're at a fire, when the guy's operating down here, he might not be able to see because of the smoke and stuff. We have the ability to move the ladder from the tip. It's called the creeper control. So a big safety feature was that he has to hold the button down here while we do that. That way we don't put ourselves into something we can't see up there. And what it does, it allows us to move very slowly when we're at the tip, as opposed to big movements and big swings, so we might have hit the building. But uh, everything else, if you were to go over the look at the other one, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, we can control. The, the monitor from up from down here, we can we want to flow water and stuff. We don't even have to be hanging out at the tip. We can be down here doing it. Uh, just use it left, right, all the three directions right there. Um, they add the air horn on this one. We didn't have it on our previous one. The newer trucks do. Just in case we have to evacuate the building, that guy, instead of him going down, still, we stop bursting the air horn. It allows the guys on the inside to know there's something going on. They need to get out. He can do it from right here instead of having to get out of the truck and go to the cab. It's another safety feature. Um, you know, so a lot of it, one of the best features this truck has that the other one didn't, when we ride, when the truck rides down the street, there's two different places you can put, you, you, you look at it, at the tip, you can see like the, the actual uh, master stream up there, that's where the water comes out of. That's actually riding on the third fly, when we go mostly. That way when we put the truck up, that stays back. And we could just use the actual ladder up there. That way is our rescue situation. That's our one we use the most. We need to get the things. But if we need to flow water, we want to send it to the next one. So on this truck, right before we, we raise it up just a little bit, we switch this bu button from rescue to water tower. 
the switch is automatic. Before, we'd have to go down there, manually move the ladder over, make sure it engages, and then it would take off. That's a huge difference from uh, when we had now. So uh, just uh, the small little features that they improved upon over the last 25 years have been huge.